Welcome to Cologne. Uh, let's start with the first one. Learning from Apple's mistakes. And yes, Apple does make mistakes. <laughs> Tim is, is somebody who can actually more say, we screwed up. I think you're right. I think it's easier and more comfortable and natural for Tim to say we are human and capable of making mistakes and that Steve did not want Apple to be human. I can represent my full name and two emoji characters. So not too many people have that, have that ability. So. It felt very like Bill Gates at the Macworld Boston Expo, <laughs> like kind of looming over us. This diagram contains the exact same information as the previous four slides. That is extremely important. And we saw how, even though it's so primitive, right, it is such an amazing enabling technology that we can actually use data to describe data. As much as I love Cardata and you probably do as well, a lot of time it feels to me that this is kind of an old technology and mm -hmm. I still think like Bristol at the next uh, day. Cordata went through two or three versions bef before it got a, a pluggable backend where you could have your own persistent storage format. How did you, from the watch extension, inform your iPhone app that something happened? You get a replay handler um, that you can execute to send the information back to the watch uh, if you're doing something. Um, and that's how well, we use it at one point when we, when we force reload the data on the watch. This is what Christoph is going to tell us now. All right. So hi, everyone. My name is Christoph. I'm from a um, company from Munich called Quartet Mobile. Are you still with me, or is it too fast? <laughs> Exit. Let's have a look on the storyboard. So I prepared a project. We have now here, or I prepared everything. There are some constraints in there. You have to believe me, we're just manipulating the height constraint of this. If any of you have kids, I recommend you go into the App Store and download something called Hopscotch right now and give that to your kids to play. Hopscotch is essentially an iPad version of Scratch. We can do better, right? Um, my favorite church right here in Cologne, the Cologne Cathedral, um, is slightly higher a lot more enclosed space, a lot better windows, right? And it was built with 160,000 tons of material. That's a lot less. And you, have, you think there's, there's this tiny little program, or Scala, I think, does that too. And you say, OK, run the dependencies. And you, know, you come back an hour later, and it's still going. And if you see somebody you know, saying, oh, this is the perfect architecture, yeah, yeah, just ignore them. What's the difference between URI and event streaming? Uh, they certainly uh, interact well. So if you're doing, uh, for example, the BBC system was an event streamer. And uh, together with then a, a, a um, sort of a central database, it wasn't a database, it was a hierarchy of stuff. And the URIs were uh, uh, very central uh, to making the event streaming work. Um, I wonder if ba about battery life. There's plenty of room left on the battery life with WatchOS 1 um, and even with WatchOS 2 as a beta at the because moment. Because there is no uh, background or multitasking, I think they have this um, under control, I guess. I do believe the rumors about a, a larger iPad getting released. And I think that when it gets released, that Apple will finally put out another uh, Surface-esque keyboard accessory for a larger iPad that'll... Thank, thank you for the term. Yeah, Surface-esque. Oh, That's German. I think it'll connect. Um, you know, I think it'll be smart cover. Did you say connect or connect? Uh, with the o. Show of hands, who still has an iPad 1? One of the reasons that your iPad 1 is still useful is because the iPad, and I have, I have two, um, is not that useful, and it hasn't gotten more useful, really.